folks there is I don't want to show you plate numbers but there is on this little parking lot here let me count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven cars here there is eleven cars here how did these people go through it says road closed but they went through I saw just now 15 people jump out of here 15 people that's why I don't like these spots and believe it or not that was the original reason why I bought my boat just so I can go fish somewhere where there is no people I wanna you know jump in the car after work and go somewhere and cast a few times but everywhere you can find fish it's covered with people fishing has become too popular anyway it's not too bad I'm sure it doesn't matter how many people are there huh a lot of them went on the other side that's okay I've never I came here once just to take a look but without fishing rods today will be my first time fishing this spillway here with fishing rods but we can also do some recon see if somebody else is catching anything as long as anybody else is catching something still collect useful information why have I never fished this spillway? well you see why it's a long walk yours truly is just not a fan of walking me and walking no I don't do walking in Bulgaria I used to walking going 10 miles one way on a bike to fish I think the longest I've gone fishing with a bike was 20 miles one way but we slept over there and come back on the same day on the next day okay, I don't see fish here uh, people here on the rocks just gotta be extremely careful because I'm getting old and falling down right now can take me out out of uh, service for a long time whoa whoa yeah this is a little bit too much for me I'm not exactly athletic wow I want to fish by this wall though I have my strengths but being athletic not exactly one of my strengths If I can get to that rock and cast parallel to the wall Wow At least right now I feel it was worth the trip This looks very very fishy What should I cast first? Float? Let's cast the float first Float is pretty much impossible in this specific location but let's cast it just to write it off float fishing is so impossible here that I might actually cut it out and put it in my baggie and just tie a big war over there just tie a big war and try because this, this road is very long I can get some distance I think I have one just one two gram jig head just one two gram jig head I don't know if I got a bite over there the float sank just for a second I, I thought it sank but it might have grabbed the rock also 
it's not out of the question to have a a few bluegill by the wall here man i need a at least a flatter flatter surface well no way fish first fish folks oh my god i was looking for a place to step and was not focused on the fish catching thing there's a good back current here Mm, there is another one. We're catching this one. We're landing this one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's it. Well, that explains why I missed a few. That explains why I missed a few. Man, this is really good for bait here. If I cast a big float anywhere, this is really good for bait. Oh, there is one. Is that really the same? It's kind of fighting a little bit. Okay. There is some baby woogie here. There is some baby woogie here. That's not going to be very exciting. Can I cast right here? There's a little bit of slack water right here too. This is kind of snaggy though. Yeah, I snagged... No, that was a fish. <laughs> I just dropped it there. I just dropped it there. Next time I need to bring one catfish rod. With a big bobber. Let it wander around here. Where can I cast folks to try this is pretty flat? Where can I cast to try to catch something different? See a little bit of slack water here. If I could get a bite a little bit away, I know that over here right in the rocks will be just a little bluegill hiding from the big fish. Oh, that was a good bite, kind of away. I don't even know what is the biggest lure I have. I have only tiny lures. I haven't seen one of them reel a fish. The only one reeling fish here is me. And this is a nicer fish. I knew there's gotta be one or two different fish here. Listen to the difference of this drag. The slow clicks. The slow clicks compared to before. What else could it be? What else could it be? But you know what? We will take him. We will take him. Hmm. Got you this time. And these are just perfect for bait. If I had a big float if I had a big float with a big hook just let it drift anywhere you want with a bluegill there is no telling what you're gonna catch I feel I have exhausted the potential of the BG1 jig under a float let's see what we can concoct here I don't know, should I even cast the one gram jig head? Should I even cast that? Let's try. Let's not be judgmental. Let's give the one gram jig head a, a chance. And then we'll tie the... Then we'll tie the 1.5. There is a fish. Even with the one gram. Even with the one gram. Okay. That's a little better than the customers I've been having on the float. But again, in the fast water, nothing. Or is it nothing? Let's try right in the fast water. 
There is one. Yeah, they're waiting there. They're waiting there, but we know what this is. Okay, let's... I'm sorry. I know, I know. Your patience is completely exhausted. Let's try to tie something bigger. I'll show you what is the biggest lure I have with me right now. I just did not get ready to fish the spillway. Let's see what is the biggest thing we have. Biggest thing we have is this jig head right here. We're gonna tie this one and a half gram and we'll see what kind of lure we have. These are all of my lures, whatever I have here. I put one of everything. What you see here is what I have. I'm gonna start with the completely white worm. That looks incredible for these conditions. I never use the head, which you should if you fish for trout. I just never do. I'm gonna put the whole thing and hope for... Wow, this doesn't look too bad. This does not look entirely bad. And I hear fish splashing behind me. Hey, finally one decent fish. This is a decent fish though. I'm talking decent. We might be pushing half a pound here. If not more. We might be pushing half a pound. No, he ain't no half a pound, Victor. What is this thing? What did I catch? Folks, what did I catch here? It's one of these walleye schmoi. You ain't even close to half a pound. The most interesting catch of the day. Figures, he would hit something like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, one more. The bite is disappointingly slow for the one and a half gram jig head with this Berkeley worm. I should be getting bites on every cast, but I'm not even getting bites on every cast. Forget about not getting fish on every cast. Why am I not getting bites on every cast? Oh, there is one interesting fish. Yeah, I was gonna switch to the float to get one last fish because it's getting dark. But I know it will be a small bluegill. I really wanted one different fish for last fish of the video, which I don't even know if I'm gonna publish this video because it's been really underwhelming. And this guy here too, really, really underwhelming. You know, beautiful jig head with the eye and with the Berkeley worm. I cannot get a bite, folks. You don't know how many casts I had to do to get a bite. It is at least three feet deep there. Slightly, slightly larger, yeah. All right, folks. I got enough. To fish here, I need something different. Like maybe a kitek with a two and a half gram jig head and chuck it all the way in the middle. Maybe a big float, catfish float and suspend a bluegill three feet under the surface and let it roam around here. But with this little one gram BG1 business, I don't think if I came earlier and fished here for three hours, I would have caught uh, anything different to tell you the truth. But hey, I hit one, two, three spots today. I caught a few fish. I rarely fish from the bank uh, these days. So maybe I will post this uh, struggle video just for, you know, variety. And if I do post it and you watch it all the way to the end, you get two of these uh, from me. You know how people ask you to give them thumbs up? If you reach the end of the video, you get thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Disconnecting from beautiful Tennessee. Look at this. Look at this. 
beautiful Tennessee. Bye-bye.